finally, the how I edit my TikToks video. I almost never edit any of my TikToks on TikTok. And there's kind of two reasons for that. One being it's really hard and time consuming. And two, doing it this way, I am able to have high quality files of my TikToks without the watermark that I am then able to repurpose to other platforms like Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube Shorts, what have you. And while my second reason for doing so isn't that big of a deal because you can use something like SnapTik to download your content without the watermark, it's just not as high quality in my opinion. Moving on, the two programs that I do use to edit my TikToks are one, iMovie, and two, Photoshop. Adobe Premiere Rush is also a good option, but for me, it kind of washes out my videos. Either way, it does the same thing. Premiere Pro is a great option too, but I haven't had the willpower to sit down and learn it yet. But I'm gonna learn it soon because iMovie has become a nuisance for me. I'm not gonna get into it. This is what my iMovie looks like. I'm sure you've seen these videos already, um, but we're just, we're gonna walk through it. So this is a project that I have. The first thing I tend to do is import my footage, which I record on my iPhone. And the easiest way to do that is either file import media, or you just drag and drop it into this area, wherever you have it saved. Once everything is in there, you can drag and drop your footage into the editing bar, whatever it's called, I don't really know. And from here, you can slice up all the footage that you wanna keep for your video. And you can do that by just pressing Command B. It just cuts, splits, whatever terminology you wanna use, this is what it does. And as a little pro tip, I like to follow the KISS method, keep it short, stupid. Anywho, once I have it pretty much ready to go, this is when I layer in my title. So now's a perfect time to move over to program number two, Photoshop. I'm sure Illustrator does the same things, but I don't know how to use that. I know how to use Photoshop thanks to seventh grade computer class. So that's what I use. So now I'm basically gonna walk you through everything I do. I mean, I guess step one, have Photoshop. And then two, you're gonna wanna create a new document with the same dimensions as TikTok, which is 1080 by 1920. Once you have all that down, um, you're going to change the background contents to transparent and I don't know what the rest of this stuff does. So I'm just gonna press create. So now that it's the same rectangular shape, this is when I start playing around with colors, fonts, layout, etc. These are all the fonts I have acquired. Some are Adobe fonts. Some of these I bought through Creative Market. They tend to have free demos available, but I buy them because one, I make money off my TikToks and two, you should pay your artists. So I type whatever I want my title to be using this font tool. Once I pick a font, I'll then, I don't know, type something like, let's just say Amazon finds. I then mess around with picking a color. Sometimes I add a stroke by double clicking the layer I want clicking stroke, clicking into it, messing with the size of the stroke, and messing with the color of the stroke, which I tend to try and keep it in the same color. Sometimes I'll do a shadow instead. That's a different color. Messing with the distance, the size, even sometimes, if I'm feeling a little crazy, I'll do the text a little wavy. And to do that, you're just gonna take this curvature pen tool. I don't know why I said that funny. And just create dots to make some sort of wave. So once you have your shape already set, 
you're going to click the text tool again and hover over it until you see a little squiggly line at the bottom of that eye thing. Then you click add in wavy text. Wowie. And if your text doesn't fit all the way through, you can either make your text smaller or you can fix where the middle and end points are. So you're gonna click this direct selection tool and hover over it until you get one triangle to the left or the right of your little typing icon. And you're gonna drag just till it gets all the way to the end. You can do this for the other side as well. And it looks like it's too big, so we're just, we're just gonna make it smaller. So that's how you make it wavy. That's the extent of my Photoshop knowledge. But there are so many YouTube tutorials out there, you can basically learn how to do anything with a simple YouTube search. I just wanna say again, I know that Premiere is a great tool and that it will let you add text to your video easily. Um, but again, I haven't learned it and iMovie just makes it kinda of easy to do. So say this is what you want. This is your finished product. You like how it looks, it's ready to go. What you're gonna do is go to File, Export, Export As, and you're gonna to wanna to save it as a PNG. Click this transparency box. Make sure it's the right size. I don't know, I don't know much. And then click export, save it somewhere. And then we're gonna go back into iMovie and we're going to open up that file we just saved, drag it into our project media we see it right here. We're gonna select our title, drag it into the editing bar above all your footage. Make it as long or as short as you want. iMovie doesn't like to export vertical videos the way we want it to. And an example of what I'm talking about is that if we were to export our video just like this, it's gonna export with these black blocks with your footage in between. So it will look something like this, which is not really what we want. So what you're gonna to want to do is select everything, click this crop tool and rotate it to the right. Once that's done, we're gonna click our title, drag and drop above our footage in the editing bar and you can make it as long or as short as you want. Then you're going to highlight your title, click this symbol again, rotate it to the right, and there you have your title added. So once it's exactly how you like it, you're going to click File, Share, File, name it whatever you want, make sure the resolution is 1080p, quality is high, compress it at a better quality, click next, save it to wherever you wanna save it, and let iMovie do its thing. You can see the progress of it right here, and it will give you a notification of when it's saved. So this is the movie we just exported. You're going to want to click rotate left, so it's now a vertical movie instead of a horizontal one, like this. So because we exported it, rotated to the right, and then after exporting, rotated it back to the left, we get a beautiful, beautiful TikTok formatted video. And if we didn't do that, it would look something like this. I know there's better ways to do this, but this is the way that I knew how to do it without having to learn a new program. Once I learn Premiere, maybe I'll do an updated video. We'll see how that goes. And as the final step in my process, I then share it through AirDrop to my iPhone. So there you have it. That's how I edit my TikToks. Let me know if you have any questions, any comments, any helpful tips or ideas. Um, also, let me know if there's something else you want me to show you. I'll try and do another tutorial 
of whatever you want to see if I know how to do it. All right, thanks for watching.